Hi David, I'm a cork and I want to invite you to come on an adventure into the world of cork. Do you want to come with me? Let's go then. I come from the Mediterranean basin, from southern Europe and northern Africa. The tree I come from is the cork oak, which grows in countries like Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia, where the climate is warm and humid. It all begins with a little acorn. The fruit and seed of the cork oak tree, or just cork tree, which has the botanical name Quercus Saber L. The cork tree grows slowly to a height of 10 to 20 meters. It has an average lifespan of 170 years, although many cork trees live to be well over 200. It is the bark of the cork tree that gives us cork. Do you know what a plantation of cork trees is called? No? Well, it's called a cork forest. Did you know that cork forests help the planet to breathe? Take a deep breath and let's find out why. Play a very important ecological role. As well as producing oxygen, they retain carbon dioxide, preventing the carbon from being released back into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas released by cars, factories and many other sources of pollution and is responsible for global warming and climate change. The cork forest is also the natural habitat of many animals, giving them food, shelter and protection. The cork forest is home to, for example, mammals like foxes, gannets, wild boar, deer, hares, birds like the black stork, the wood chat shrike, owls, and many other birds, like the grey heron, which migrates from northern Europe to escape the cold. Some birds rest in the cork forest while others fly on to Africa. Some animals are in grave danger of becoming extinct and need the cork forest to survive. This is the case of the Iberian lynx. There are only around a hundred of them in the whole world. And the Iberian imperial eagle, there are only 150 left. Besides the cork trees, a great variety of flora grows in this habitat, such as lavender, which smells really nice, foxglove, oregano, rosemary and peppermint, which can be used in food, among other things. Sometimes associated with the cultivation of cork trees is livestock farming and agriculture, which provides jobs for the people living nearby. The black Iberian pig, which eats acorns, is one of the species kept by local farmers. Let's see. Cork comes from the bark of the cork oak and is removed by skilled workers. The removal of cork is called harvesting. Harvesting takes place between the months of May and August, when the cork peels from the tree trunk most easily. Cork can only be taken from a cork tree when the tree is approximately 25 years old and thereafter every nine years, according to the common practice in Portugal. The cork from the first two harvestings can have a number of uses but only from the third harvest, when the tree is over 40 years old, can the cork be used to make corks. Do you know how many corks can be made with the cork from a single cork tree? Think carefully. On average, 4,000 corks. Imagine that! 
Not at all. The tree isn't cut down. Only the bark is removed, and a new layer starts growing immediately. Cork provides excellent insulation against temperature, noise, and vibration. It is fire and water resistant, elastic, compressible, light, soft, and of course it has a very attractive natural texture and is pleasant to the touch. How nice! There are corks like me which seal bottles. Preserving drinks in a natural way. As a building material, cork is used for insulation against temperature, noise, and vibration. But there's more. Although you can't see it, cork is widely used in the construction of roads, bridges, airport runways, dams, and swimming pools. It is also used as the outer layer of floors and walls. You will find cork in furniture and in a number of decorative or work items. You may not know it, but cork is also used in hockey and cricket balls and shuttlecocks because it is light and very resistant. There are even musical instruments and toys which contain cork. Cork can also be found in the soles of shoes, in jewelry, and clothing. Finally. Cork is used by the car manufacturing industry in submarines, airplanes, and rockets. Did you know that the cork industry uses every single gram of cork? Nothing goes to waste. The cork, which is left over from the production of corks, is ground up and made into tens, hundreds, even thousands of items. Even the dust is used to produce electricity. Yes or no? Of course it can. Cork remains environmentally friendly for its entire lifespan. Corks and other cork objects can be ground and reused in new applications in practically all of the areas we mentioned. And there you are. You've learned that the cork tree plays a very important ecological role. And that cork products are extremely diverse and environmentally friendly. Do you want to see a cork tree being planted?